Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Rage 2. First of all, we will start with some parameter that uh, you need to change in Windows to make sure that everything is set up properly. Uh, first thing that you will need to check up is the game mode. Make sure that the, your game mode is at off and make sure you don't have any game bar at on. The other thing that uh, you will need to download, it's a new software that I'm using, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, uh, the guy who made DDU. Um, it's pretty amazing when I'm using this software now, I don't have any stuttering. Uh, I've read about a bit about the subject and um, I don't remember by heart, but on Windows 10, I think it's the update 18.09, uh, Windows struggle to uh, purge your standby list and this software uh, is doing it for you so uh, I had a lot of issue with the Division 2 and uh, Battlefield 5 and this uh, software uh, fixed all my uh, issue with the stuttering so now uh, it's always open on my computer I will put the link of the software and you can download it if you want uh, uh, the other thing that you need to know is where the config file is uh, so it's on the C drive users the name of your computer, save game, ID software, Rage 2. Uh, you will need to open the setting file. So when you open it, you will have all uh, the graphic parameter uh, that uh, you can see in the game. And also you can change stuff that you don't see in the game to improve your FPS. For example, as it com as sync compute, sorry. Um, what else? Edge fade, I think you can change it here and you don't see it in the game. So you have a couple of stuff that uh, you can uh, completely change here and uh, other stuff about like uh, whatever your uh, sensitivity and stuff like that, aiming down sensitivity multiplier, you can change a couple of stuff. So that's about it for the config file. Now let's go inside of the game. So now the video settings. So first of all, make sure that you're playing the game in full screen. I tried a uh, window mode and borderless. I was losing 4% of uh, my FPS. So really important to use full screen. Also, I'm using full HD resolution. Uh, again, if after all the change you don't get your 60 or you need more, you will probably need to lower your resolution. I make sure that you're matching the proper monitor and my VSync. I'm all I'm using VSync on, but honestly, you can change it for to soft or off if you want. It's just because I need to lock my uh, screen with the. Um, the game because when I stream I'm getting like 100% of the um, of my GPU uh, usage and I'm using NVEC when I'm streaming so uh, I don't want to use more uh, on my video card so when I use VSync I'm at like 90% something like that so that's why I'm using it after that feel of you I'm using 90 if you are using more you will uh, see that you render more in front of you so you will probably uh, lose a couple of FPS but I feel like 90 is a good uh, FOV for this game I'm not using any motion blur, I don't like this effect uh, when I play a first person shooter. So you will not uh, gain uh, FPS with motion blur. And uh, cro uh, chromatic aberration I'm putting it on, I don't see any uh, increase or decrease uh, when uh, you use this parameter. So uh, resolution scale, so this one you uh, put it at off. Uh, you don't want to use automatic resolution scale when you're playing and uh, use a scale target uh, FPS. I've tried it just to see if it work, uh, works properly. And it's pain in the ass, honestly. Sometimes the games just go randomly uh, blurry. And I have a pretty decent computer, so I don't think this works well. So you need to make sure that you change by yourself your graphic parameter and don't use the automatic thing. Uh, Anisotropic picturing filtering, I'm playing at on. I don't have any issue with it. Uh, if you have a pretty decent video card, on, you should uh, definitely use that. If you have uh, an integrated video card and stuff like that, for sure you will need to uh, lower more of your param graphic parameter and put this one at off. Geometric detail. This one is kind of important. Trip three percent for each bracket. So I'm put this. Uh, I'm putting this one at medium. Uh, global illumination. Depth of field. S A S S A O. So the ambient inclusion. Put those one at off, you will gain a nice chunk of FPS, 10% of increase, so pretty huge deal. And anyway, you don't want to use depth of field when you're playing a PC game. So uh, th those one are very important. For anti-aliasing, if you have an old computer, an old video card, use FXA8 it will be better for you, more optimized. It's not the best for anti-aliasing, but still, you, it's better than using off. So uh, this one uh, will help you a lot with your FPS. Now we will go in the portion with the more FPS increase. All those player self shadow, uh, shadow resolution, shadow light, and um, yeah, that's about it. 
uh, those one put those one at off or uh, low when you can't remove it completely like the shadow resolution you will gain a nice 40 percent of increase so uh it's pretty demanding on the, the resources of your computer to render all those um shadow everywhere so really important to put this one at off dynamic reflection you can put it at off it will really depend when you see like shiny surface like a water and stuff like that and you see your fps dropping remove it if you don't see your fps dropping you can let this one at on uh shading quality i'm putting this one at uh, low uh you will gain like a nice two percent to three percent depending on your uh, if you're using an amd or an uh, nvidia card i don't know why i'm getting more fps on my amd car for this one and the soft particle one i'm removing it completely uh it gain i gain like another two percent of fps so that, that's about it for the video setting. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Uh, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. Uh, make sure that you update your graphic uh, drivers. Uh, I've gained like 6% of increase for my FPS on my NVIDIA card, so really important. Also, really important to know that this game is using Vulkan for uh, the API. Uh, they're not using um, DirectX or OpenGL. So you can have a couple of issues, for example, when you want to stream game capture with OBS or even with the uh, MSI Afterburner, I need to tweak my Afterburner to make sure that I'm seeing my FPS in the game. So uh, that's about it. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and... Peace.